After crossing into Latvia, the status of Mennonites changed. No longer traitors to the revolution, they were now valued settlers chaperoned by Canadian Pacific Railway officials. For many, Resniki would be their first stop, where the men and women were separated and disinfected in steam baths. Then to Riga, where beautiful buildings and cobblestone streets enthralled the youth. Finally to the harbour in Libau, where large ships waited to take them to England. Mennonites approached the docks with both excitement and trepidation. Once on board, some sang away their apprehension with hymns, while others chose mournful Russian melodies for comfort. After arriving in England, Mennonites once again were subjected to medical exams. Those diagnosed with trachoma or other medical infirmaries had to stay at the Atlantic Park Hostel, a melting pot of European immigrants in transit. Families were separated for weeks, sometimes years, as only those deemed healthy could continue to Canada. From Southampton, Mennonites boarded new ships for the week-long journey to the port of Quebec. Third-class accommodations afforded a few comforts, as well as time to reflect on their journey, to remember the people, the land they had left behind. And then a city on a hill came into sight. They had finally arrived in Canada.